Ellen. Do you have a Facebook page? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> Imagine Colin Powell sitting around on Facebook. Happening now, you can go bald for a cause, and it's about to happen here. This is a video from last year's event in Shreveport. It's all in honor of St. Baldrick's Day to raise money for childhood cancer research. Okay, so Lady News Wells, Olivia Vidal is playing host with some of the organizers of this event. One very kind volunteer about to go bald right now. Right, Olivia? That's right. And Doug, I still really think you're not here to the Stop. courtyard. Stop. Okay. You already got your volunteer. <laughs> Let's move along there, young lady. Okay, fine, fine. We'll get you, though. We'll get you, though. But, yeah, the Go Bald event is happening today, and it's a, a way to raise money for childhood cancer research. And, of course, Taylor Conrad, he's the president of Go Bald. He is volunteering to get his head shaved this morning. And uh, the team from Avalon Salon, that's Jasmine and Elaine, they are doing the honors by shaving Taylor's head. And with me um, is Miss Sarah Bundrick. We spoke with her earlier this morning. Again, tell us a little bit about, about this event. Why is something like this so important for our community? So um, we talked earlier, you know, there's nothing like this in Shreveport. So there's no other organizations or events that are raising money for pediatric cancer research. So we're really excited that Taylor has brought this to Shreveport because, you know, it's very unique to our community now. Um, and we're really excited for our event. It's from 2 to 6 p.m. this afternoon. It's at the BRI Atrium, which is next to the medical school on Kings Highway. And um, we're going to have a lot of really fun events. And that's what I was saying. It is family friendly. Yes, it's very family friendly. We have a photo booth. We have food. We have um, a raffle. There, there are some really great prizes in the raffle. So we're really excited about all of that. And I know a lot of people think, oh, he's a guy. Shaving his head is no big deal. I mean, do we ever see women, girls come out and get their heads? shaved? Well, this year we actually have three girls who are shaving their heads, which is amazing. Um, we had a lot of girls who cut their hair this year. So we had an associated event where girls could cut their hair and donate it for, to make wigs for kids or adults who don't, you know, who need wigs when they go through chemo. Um, but we're really excited. We have three girls this year. Right. It's amazing. Well, yeah. good deal. Well, this all benefits uh, childhood cancer research. And of course, you can come out to that event today at two um, in the BRI atrium near the med school. And coming up later before the newscast is over we will show you the final product taylor you're going bald <laughs> all right second series back to you in the studio stop it right there oh sending my. to work with half a head shave there oh right. my god they're doing it that's so cool